Good evening, my name is Abdul Zakali and this is an English edition of Dalsan TV. We have a lot in store for you, but first let's have a look at some of the stories that are making headlines here in Somalia. Somali president joins ceremony aboard Turkish warship. Somalia Humanitarian Fund allocates $3 million to address anticipated flooding, UN announces. And 21 dead, 23 missing after bo two boat capsizes off Djibouti coast. Welcome back. Now the full bulletin. The president of the federal government of Somalia, Mr. Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, has, accompanied by ministers and the Turkish ambassador, participated in a ceremony aboard Turkey's dom domestically produced TCG Kaliniada COVID, which docked at Mogadishu port on Tuesday. Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, accompanied by ministers and the Turkish ambassador, participated in a ceremony aboard Turkey's domestically produced TCG Kineliada Kovet, which docked at Mogadishu port on Tuesday. The ceremony was held in honor of Turkey's National Sovereignty and Children's Day, highlighting the strong bilateral ties between the two nations. President Mohamud highlighted the strategic partnership between Turkey and Somalia, emphasizing cooperation in humanitarian aid, security, defense, and economic development. Addressing the occasion, President Mohamud expressed gratitude towards the government of Turkey, emphasizing the trust and support they have shown to Somalia on numerous occasions. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fiden reaffirmed Turkey's unwavering support for Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. He highlighted the deep historical ties between the two nations, emphasizing their unity of destiny. Minister Fiden expressed this sentiment on his official social media account, stating, The historical relations between our two countries now point to a unity of destiny. President Mohamud expressed gratitude to Turkey for its support in safeguarding Somalia's territorial waters, as outlined in the recently signed Defense and Economic Cooperation Agreement. In related news, the Director General of the Somali Ministry of Petroleum and Mineral Resources, Mohamed Hashi Abdi Arabe, confirmed that Turkey is set to commence oil drilling of Somalia's extensive coastline starting next year. The new oil and gas deal signed between Somalia and Turkey in early March aims to enhance cooperation in the exploration and exploitation of these valuable resources. The visit of the Turkish warship, coupled with the ongoing collaboration in the defense and economic sectors, reflects the deepening partnership between Somalia and Turkey. This alliance holds the promise of further strengthening bilateral relations and fostering mutual prosperity in the years to come. Now, in response to the imminent threat of flooding in Somalia, the international donor-backed Somalia Humanitarian Fund, SHF, has allocated $3 million US dollars according to the United Nations. The SHF, designed to address the country's most urgent needs, aims to mitigate the humanitarian impact of the predicted flooding on the hardest-hit communities, particularly in remote and hard to reach areas such as Jamame, Lok, and Afgoi. In response to the imminent threat of flooding in Somalia, the international donor-backed Somalia Humanitarian Fund, SHF, has allocated $3 million, according to the United Nations. The SHF, designed to address the country's most urgent needs, aims to mitigate the humanitarian impact of the predicted flooding on the hardest-hit communities, particularly in remote and hard-to-reach areas such as Jamem, Luk, and Afgui. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, released a report from Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, stating that the allocated funds will primarily be utilized to provide multipurpose cash assistance. Preposition and distribute hygiene kits and essential medicines, and upgrade communal universal water, sanitation, and hygiene, wash, infrastructure and health facilities that can be implemented in the post-flood period. Somalia has been grappling with heavy rainfall since April 19, resulting in widespread floods, flash floods, and river overflows that have caused casualties and extensive damage. 
The OCHA reported that four people have tragically lost their lives due to the flooding, with three fatalities in Somaliland, located in northern Somalia, and one in Hashabel State, situated in south-central Somalia. Furthermore, the UN agency highlighted the significant impact on the population, revealing that 804 individuals have been displaced, 100 shelters have been destroyed, and a school has sustained damage across the country. Situation, the OCHA emphasized that humanitarian partners are rapidly intensifying their response efforts nationwide. As the need for assistance grows, the OCHA alerted that additional rainfall is expected in the northwestern and southwestern parts of Somalia over the next 24 hours, further exacerbating the already dire situation. The allocation of $3 million from the Somalia Humanitarian Fund demonstrates the commitment of international donors and the United Nations to support Somalia in addressing the challenges posed by the flooding. The funds will play a vital role in providing immediate relief and assisting affected communities in rebuilding their lives and infrastructure. Now, 21 migrants have died and another 23 missing after a boat carrying 77 people capsized at the coast of Djibouti on Tuesday. 21 migrants have died and another 23 missing after a boat carrying 77 people capsized at the coast of Djibouti Tuesday. According to International Organization for Migration, IOM, the occupant's boat, which is the second to be involved in such incident, two weeks involved children. Tens of thousands of migrants from the Horn of Africa, especially from Ethiopia and Somalia, leave the continent through Djibouti aiming to reach Saudi Arabia and the other Gulf nations to find work according to IOM. Many fail and thousands are stranded in Yemen, where they live in harsh conditions, IOM says. Drownings are common in the water of Djibouti as the migrants make their journeys. Tanja Pasifio, the head of Djiboutian office, said Tuesday death toll had risen from an early figure of 16 IOM had given. Another 33 people were rescued from the water, she said, adding that they, they will add another 33 people were rescued from the water, she said, adding that they and all the dead were Ethiopians. At least 38 people, including children, died that shipwreck off the Djibouti coast. She said Tuesday's capsized boat was sailing to Djibouti from Yemen. Now that story brings us to the end of this bulletin. My name is Abdul Zakali. We wish you a lovely evening.